What's up guys, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to have a behind the scenes look into this three week cut which I'm currently on. So I've just got back from the supermarket just stocking up on pretty much the same things which I'm always getting at the moment. Always ends up being some kind of lean meat. I've got the turkey, I've got chicken, these sugar snaps that I'm a big fan of. Asparagus, eggs, I'll tell you what is a winner as well, this. It's called a fish pie. I don't know why the hell they call it a fish pie because it's actually lacking the pastry part of it, but one third cod, one third smoked haddock, and one third salmon. It's beautiful. Some broccoli, almond milk for the oats because, uh, yeah, a few people are asking, they're saying like, oh Mike, don't you have dairy? I don't actually have dairy because it doesn't really agree with me. So instead I have almond milk instead. I get the sweetened ones to taste nicer, I know, naughty. Apples, bananas, raspberries, loads of oatmeal in here, keeping it fresh. Sweet potato, basmati rice. These have been doing bits recently, dates, medjool dates. Really good to have post-workout and, you know, if you can control yourself, have one or two later on in the evening. Look at that man, you cannot complain about that. Nice portion of rice, a portion of veg, and a beautifully prepared fish pie. So this is the last main meal of the day. It's a pretty big one to be honest. I always tend to leave the biggest one till last, uh, just so I've got something to look forward to. And it's just basically gonna keep me full because there's nothing worse than going to bed when you're hungry. One of the mistakes which I've always, always made in the past is Whenever I decide to either sort out my diet or to get on some kind of a cut, I always adjust my nutrition and I'll put myself into some form of a calorie deficit. But at the same time, I would always bump up my cardio almost straight away so that the deficit that I was actually in was far too excessive, which, you know, after a number of days of doing lots of cardio, restricting my calories, I end up not only feeling like crap and having cravings like mad, but my physique overall just depletes and my performance in the gym goes down. So I've learned whenever you start off by cutting, whenever you get your nutrition sorted, whether you are just cutting out the junk food or restricting calories a little bit to begin with, there's no need to do shitloads of cardio to start off with. Cardio, in my opinion, should be a last minute tool when it comes to getting rid of that, you know, the stubborn areas of body fat where you just need a little bit of a push to get rid of it. So the first 13 days has gone something like this. Throughout the week, I'm pretty much placing myself in a deficit, not too much of a deficit, and then having a refeed on the weekends or Saturday, Sunday, whatever it might be. Carbs have been, I've been cycling them. It's mainly been pretty much around 200 grams throughout the week, although I have dipped carbs on the days that I rest or the days after a big refeed when they're not as necessary. So about a month ago, I was all over the place really. Uh, I was in Rio for 10 days, I came back for two days and then I was off again in Austria. And for that period of time, it's pretty much three weeks where I was really out of my routine. I was, uh, I was doing my best, I was trying to eat all right, I was trying to train as much as possible, but by the end of that Austria trip, like things really went pretty south, to be honest. Like, uh, I wasn't training much, I wasn't eating great, and I had quite a lot of beer as well, because everyone was drinking beer in Austria. So, I was hungry to get back. Like, I love being in a routine, I like it when my training is on point, I can see myself progress, I see myself getting stronger, and you know, when you eat good, you feel good. Without a doubt, that is the case. As soon as I start eating loads of junk food, I actually feel like shit. And I notice my fitness and conditioning really goes downhill. And even in like your overall health, you just look, you know, not very healthy. But when you start to eat right, you feel good, you actually look healthier, your skin looks better, everything's better. And that's why I like being in a routine. I can't lie, like at the moment, does tend to get like pretty monotonous. It is literally a case of me putting my head down, focusing on a goal I've set myself and just grafting, you know, putting in the hard work, you know, nailing my training. I'm doing lots of, you know, running my own business from home. 
you know, business has really picked up since YouTube has taken off, so it just means I've got to kind of spend more time on that, which I'm happy with doing. Um, I've started taking on more clients from uh, the gym, which I'm working at. I'm only doing a very, very limited amount of one-on-one -on -one personal training, literally like four or five hours a week. I'm capping it at that. One of the best ways to track progress is obviously visually through photos and stuff, but I do believe that keeping an eye on your weight is useful to see what is going on. So my goal here is not to lose too much weight too quickly. So I decided to buy some scales. And after weighing in near the end of the week, I was around 92.7 kilograms. I will tell you now that without a doubt, whenever I get into a routine, when I find my flow with my training and my nutrition, it's very hard to break out of it. And that is where so much progress is being made. And it's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't actually see progress is because when they get into that good routine, it doesn't last very long. It lasts for a couple of days, maybe even a week before something crops up and throws them out of that good routine, whether it be them going out for a cheat meal or going on a night out or just generally, you know, they just fail to prepare the meals, whatever it might be, or they're not going to the gym for a couple of days. And it's very much on and off. The diet is inconsistent. The training is inconsistent. And if they're both inconsistent, you're never really gonna achieve anything great. If you're really trying to make changes to your body, you're trying to put your body fat down, you can't be inconsistent with your diet, okay? And it's the same if you're looking to add some size. You can't be inconsistent with your training and have like one week on, one week off. So I've pretty much been eating the same food over and over again, which to be honest, I don't mind. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the food I'm making. I make it tasty. You know, you grow to like it after a while when you skip the junk food. Got my seasonings to spice everything up. Greens, getting plenty of them in. And, you know, rice, sweet potato, oatmeal, they've been the main form of carbs. And, you know, the oatmeal has been the absolute lifesaver, really satisfying my sweet tooth. Big shout out to my sponsors, the HP Labs and the subs that they provide. I do believe that supplements play a more important role when it comes to your nutrition, particularly when you're on deficit. So I'm just outside the gym now, about to hit up chest and triceps, feeling good. I wasn't feeling good this morning. My whole body was sore as anything. Um, I've noticed one thing when I've been training loads, and the calories have been down, it's very hard to keep up that level of training volume. So as I said before, the only time I'm really doing the cardio is if I've got the energy to do it, plus on my rest days. So when I'm having a complete day off from the gym, as in training, I'm actually gonna do some light cardio, so I'm walking for about 30, 45 minutes. So, you know, it's still a rest day, but I'm still doing something, some form of light activity which isn't going to be too stressful on the central nervous system. One of the obstacles which I had to overcome with this cut was the fact that I was traveling up to Leeds for the weekend to spend time with my family. And the problem when I go up to see my family is there's always a lot of food associated with the visits. So I've just touched down in Leeds. This is the house which I grew up in from zero years old all the way up to 18 years old before I went to Newcastle University. Always good to come home, always good to see the family. But one problem I have when I come home. I'm gonna show you what it is. Every time I come home, the house is full to the brim of sweets. Why does he do this? Cereal, that is my kryptonite. What else we got? More Kit Kats. This thing, just sitting on the counter. Eight quadruple chocolate cookies. Ice creams. Oh my God, how much ice cream does he have? Can't believe he's got that much food in the house. Like, there's no way he's gonna get through all of that. I don't know why he just buys it in the first place. Or maybe he just thinks, oh, Michael's coming home this weekend. Maybe I need to make sure the house is full. Cause I know how much Michael likes to eat. Which, yeah, I guess it's a nice sentiment, but not really ideal when I'm on a cut, is it? The problem is once I start, I can't stop. So the focus tonight, cause the evenings are always the hardest. And tomorrow is to basically just not touch it, just stick onto the macros which I set myself. And I'm gonna have a refeed meal tomorrow because it's Mother's Day, so I'm gonna be out with the family 
Um, see my grandma, it'll be good to see her. I haven't seen her for a while. So I'm gonna have a cheat meal there, I'm gonna keep it at that. Let's see how it goes, eh? Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I survived the night, didn't eat crap. Okay, a little bit, I only had two of those eggs. But that was good for me, so successful. Today we're off for food with the family, celebrate Mother's Day. Um, off to this pub in the middle of nowhere. Should be quite nice. The grandparents like it, so if they're happy, I'm happy. White socks were a terrible decision. I wear white socks. It's a very warm day in Leeds. Well, let's just hope the food's all right. That's all I can see. How's it taking you further than the field? Would you take me somewhere fancy? We would have gone all the way to Otley for another average pub. No, I'd have gone to the Tiger Inn. It's about half an hour's drive away though. But uh, I'd have gone. Oh well, let's see. I was a bit worried originally with the food selection. I didn't think it was going to be that good, but it turned out to be okay. The main problem with that is when you only have one refeed meal a week and it turns out to be extremely poor, there's nothing worse than knowing that you've got to wait another seven days for the next one. So for starters, it was the sweet chili dip with breaded chicken fillets. Then I had the lamb with vegetables and potato. To be honest, there could have been more lamb. And then, yes, I finished off with some chocolate fudge cake, which was epic! It's a shame I didn't film that. I was just about to wrap this video up. And I sat on that. Right, found a proper chair. So, I thought I'd sit outside this rather wonderful day we're having in Leeds today, wrap up this video, just had a nice meal, that was my refeed meal. Better than expected actually, fair play to the grandparents who selected that restaurant. Just gonna chill with uh, my family for the rest of the afternoon before making it back down to London tomorrow. I've got another busy week ahead, I've got another nine days left of this cut. So I'll post another video just summarizing the second half of the cut how it's gone and hopefully I'll be looking pretty peeled more so than usual uh, by the 4th because that is the last day before I go away on holiday so keep you posted thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel any questions inquiries drop me an email or comment below see you guys soon